Good evening and welcome to Cardinal Legier Secondary School's commencement ceremony. My name is Martin Baistroga and I'll be your host for the second virtual graduation ceremony. We'll begin with the playing of our national anthem, followed by the land acknowledgement and a prayer of invocation by the Reverend Father Laborio Amarel and the Reverend Father Patrick Esmora, pastors of St. Mary's Church here in Brampton. provide us with life. This land upon which we live, work, and sustain ourselves is the ancestral and treaty lands of the Anishinaabe, also known today as the Mississaugas of the Credit, the rightful caretakers and title holders of this land. We also recognize that this land is rich in pre-contact history and relationships, which includes the Anishinaabe and Okohanwe, and since European contact has and continues to become home for indigenous and non-indigenous peoples. As a responsible community, we believe all people are sacred and possess inherent and immeasurable worth and dignity. Colonialism displaced and dispossessed indigenous peoples of their ancestral lands and continues to deny their basic human rights, dignities, and freedoms. We are committed to the sacrament of reconciliation, making reparations, and fulfilling our treaty obligations, duties, and responsibilities, as outlined in the Dish with One Spoon Wampum. This treaty governs and affirms that we actively maintain mutually beneficial relationships and collectively respect and care for the land, water, animals, and each other in order to guarantee a good life for our future descendants. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for the gift of gathering us together. May we realize the importance and the gift that is yours in our graduation ceremony. May you bless us, Lord, bless each and every one of us, that we may grow in wisdom and knowledge of you. Amen. Amen. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our local Catholic trustee, Ms. Anna de Silva. Ms. Anna de Silva is one of 11 elected community members who sit on the Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board. The primary role of a trustee is to develop policy, approve the board budget, address student achievement matters, and communicate parent guardian concerns within a jurisdiction. Catholic school trustees are charged with maintaining and advancing the Catholic nature of our school system. I give you Miss Anna de Silva, your Catholic school trustee for Ward 1, Ward 3 and Ward 4. Greetings to all members of the graduating class of 2021 and to all who are joining us here today. My name is Anna De Silva, and I am your Catholic School Board Trustee for Brampton Wards 1, 3, and 4. Graduation from secondary school represents one of the most significant events in your lives so far. 
you are living amid a global pandemic of a skill no one could have imagined. Your world, in fact, the world, has turned upside down, or at least sideways. And yet, while the manner in which we celebrate your graduation may be different than you imagined it, it is all part of your unique life story, a life that is a blessing to us and one that we honor and celebrate as we mark a significant step in your personal journey. Some of you are about to enter the world of work. For others, you will soon take the next step to your educational path. You're headed to university or college, apprenticeship training, to continue to prepare for the career you want to pursue. Your diploma means that you have gone through a Catholic education system that reflects a quality values-driven experience, a first-rate education, an exposure to values, beliefs, and traditions that position you to thrive in an ever more interdependent and complex world, and a chance to continue to experience the joy of learning. I ask you to take those experiences with you and do well wherever you go and in whatever you do. Congratulations to each one of you. To you, parents and guardians, thank you for choosing a Catholic education for your child. Catholic school graduates are taught the virtues and values of the Catholic faith, including community, responsibility, and accountability, collaboration, caring, and family. This produces not only good students, but good citizens as well. I am confident when I say that the Catholic education your child has received at this school will serve them well, wherever their journey takes them. I'd like to share a brief story that I came across recently. A man sat in his car at a stoplight. The woman in front of him was going through papers on the seat of her car, and when the light changed to green, she didn't go. A green light is not a suggestion, you know. It's more of a command, but she didn't notice. When the light turned red again, she still had not moved. The man in the car behind her started screaming and began beating on his steering wheel. Just then, a police officer tapped on his door. You can't arrest me for hollering in my car, the man said. The officer asked for his license and registration, returned to his car, talked on the radio for a while, and finally returned and handed the papers back to the man. The driver remarked, I knew you couldn't give me a ticket for yelling in my own car. The officer replied, Look, buddy, I didn't want to write you a ticket for shouting in your car, but I was directly behind you at the light. I saw you screaming and beating your steering wheel, and I said to myself, that guy is out of control. He's going to hurt someone. And then I noticed that you had a cross hanging from your rearview mirror. There was a bright yellow love is a choice license tag, the give peace a chance, and prayer changes things, bumper stickers. And I was sure that you must have stolen the car. The driver's behavior did not reflect the bumper stickers. But let's not be too critical. Are we always the people we want to be? We make changes by stretching. Personal transformation can happen when the person we presently are does not yet resemble the person that we hope to be. It's better to set high ideals and occasionally fall short than to settle for mediocrity and succeed. The important question is not, who are you today? It is better to ask, who do you want to be tomorrow? So as you go forward, keep God in your heart, live well, make good choices, and I want you to go out and make a difference in the world. Congratulations, graduates, once again. May God bless you always. Thank you, Mr. Silva. We would now like to ask local MPP, Mr. Sandu, followed by His Worship Patrick Brown, Mayor of Brampton, to come say a few words. Hi, everyone. It's uh, Prabhupada Singh Sarkarya, your MPP uh, for Brampton South. And I want to congratulate each and every single one of you on graduating this year. I know that this year has been challenging. 
Uh, we have been seen so many obstacles before us, but we know that when we stick together, when we work together, we can achieve anything. We can get over anything. So I want to congratulate each and every single one of you. I know you've learned so much throughout this year. Better years to come ahead as we get through this pandemic, as we continue to work together. I wish each and every single one of you all the best on the next chapter in your life. Congratulations once again. On behalf of members of Brampton City Council, I want to extend my best wishes to the class of 2021. You should be very proud of this accomplishment. You worked hard to reach this milestone. You leave with lifelong friends and fond memories. It's so unfortunate that a global pandemic changed your way of learning. I'm sure the past year has been challenging as you have been studying independently at home. I want to give a special shout out to all the parents, family members, and teachers who have guided you. Today is a day of celebration, and it's also a day of appreciation, especially for all those who believed in you and saw you succeed. As you begin your next chapter, I encourage you to discover yourself, what it is that drives you, what course or career path engages your head and your heart and your passion, and then pursue it with all your energy and commitment. I am confident that you will seize these opportunities. Canada is a land of opportunity. For those with drive and determination, you can succeed. And education unlocks a door of possibilities. So once again, congratulations. On behalf of the city of Brampton, I just want to say the future is yours. Seize the moment. Have a great summer. And congratulations again. Thank you for those warm words of welcome and congratulations to our graduates. We now call upon Catholic School Council Co-Chair Ms. Dominique Darman Sturgeon to say a few words, followed by St. Mary's Pastors Father Laborio and Father Patrick. Good day, graduates of 2021. Mr. Radic, Ms. Kondo, Ms. Laheka, School Board Trustee Anna De Silva, teachers, family, friends, and guests. My name is Dominique Darman in Sturgeon, and I, along with Miguel Naranio, have had the honor and privilege of representing Cardinal Lege as your Catholic School Council Chair this past year. It truly has been an honor and a privilege to be a part of such a vibrant school community. One of the many highlights of being Council Chair is the opportunity to participate in this momentous occasion. And although we're doing things a little differently, that doesn't detract from all that you've accomplished. You can rest assured that you will accomplish great things because you possess the skills and knowledge that accompany a highly recognized Catholic education. I'd like to leave you with just a few words of advice. Dream big, have no regrets, be kind to yourself and to others. On behalf of the Catholic School Council of Cardinal Leger, congratulations today, this day of your graduation. Thank you. My brothers and sisters, you're graduating you are the class of 2021. And I know on behalf of Father Patrick and I, we'd like to thank you and congratulate you for the hard work you've been putting in these last years. May God bless you in your journey. Father. May God bless you and keep you and make you always safe. May you grow in wisdom. We know it has not been an easy year, but let's stay strong because we have wonderful teachers, and pastors who assist us, who love us. So let's keep up moving ahead and grow stronger in our faith and in our love of our world. And if I can conclude by saying that you're going to get your graduation diplomas, uh, your, your certificates, but part of what you're going to receive is also a cross. Your chaplain, Mr. Finnamore, is giving you a cross. In a way, that's the best gift we can give you, the cross which symbolizes Jesus' death on the cross, his love for you and for me. May it always be a reminder to you of how much you are loved. So it is. Let's carry our crosses, especially during this pandemic. Some have lost loved ones and family, but let's not forget to remember that Jesus is always with us and he loves us. When we carry our crosses, we shall eventually resurrect. Thank you. So congratulations to all of you graduates. Congratulations.
We now call upon Principal Redick to address our graduates. Good evening, parents, guardians, friends, family, faculty, and most importantly, the Cardinal Leger graduating class of 2021. We so wish that we could be celebrating in person together this evening, and even though we can't, I am very happy I was able to see you and congratulate you in person today and on Friday. It is, however, my sincere privilege to be here to address you as your principal. I've been blessed to be a part of the Cardinal Leger community for nearly 10 years, and so fortunate to have had the chance to get to know so many of you over the years you spent at Leger, and to witness the incredible group of young adults you've all become. I just wish that we had more time in person this last year and a half. Despite that, this is your night, and I hope you're able to celebrate in some way this evening. Every single one of you are challenged and faced with seemingly insurmountable obstacles, but you persevered and you overcame them all. You did it. You all did it, and I, and we are all extremely proud of you. Recently, I read a story in Joshua Metcalf's book, Chop Wood, Carry Water, in which the author describes a kind of anti-Saint Joseph character, a famed Japanese architect and home builder named Koda. Maybe some of you have heard this story. After a long and successful career building exceptional homes, Koda makes a difficult decision to retire, wishing to travel and to spend time with his grandkids. His boss, however, insists that he take one more home building project. Begrudgingly, Koda agrees. He builds this last house out of a sense of obligation, not out of service and with no love. He cuts corners and rushes through the stages of building, never giving a thought for the home's future inhabitants. After four months, he finishes the house and returns to his boss, hoping to get his blessing to finally retire. His boss then says that he has one more thing for him. He reaches into his desk and gives him a gift, a token of his appreciation for Coda's 30 years of expert building and stellar home design. He gives Coda the keys to the house he had just built. Coda's heart sinks. Obviously, he did not realize that the whole time he had been building his own house. The story of Coda, the man who rushes and cuts corners, stands in stark contrast to St. Joseph. Unlike the famed architect and home builder, Coda, St. Joseph is often described as a lowly carpenter. His building projects are not renowned, and while he's a central figure in the Holy Family, securing the safety of Jesus and the Blessed Mother, his words are found nowhere in the Bible. He instead described as speaking only with angels and the Blessed Virgin Mary. Unlike Coda, St. Joseph did all his work, his carpentry work and his family work with love and service to God. St. Joseph knew, unlike Coda, that all work, not just the prestigious jobs, are opportunities to glorify God. St. Joseph knew that in all his work, he was helping to build his own house. Last December in 2020, Pope Francis announced a year of celebration in honor of St. Joseph the worker. In his epistolic letter entitled, With a Father's Heart, Pope Francis said that each of us can discover in Joseph, the man who goes unnoticed, a daily, discreet, and hidden presence an intercessor, a support, and a guide in times of trouble. During his lifetime, Joseph went unnoticed. He was an ordinary man doing his ordinary duty as a worker, a father, a husband. His humble and hidden life provides us with inspiration today. As our stay-at-home pandemic lives can seem to us monotonous, boring, and even tedious, through Joseph's hidden example, we can learn how to work with love and how to live humbly. Each of us, every day, is building our own house. We may think like Coda that we are working for someone else, but we are always, at all times, in everything we do, building our own house. St. Joseph teaches us how to be holy in our ordinary work by choosing to serve daily without accolades in ordinary, unremarkable, and in hidden ways out of love and in service to others. We help to build a small part of the kingdom of God here on earth. This year, as we have spent more time than we like trapped in our doors, apart, we realize how dependent we are on ordinary people, our grocery store workers, our delivery people, our volunteers, our healthcare personnel, our neighbors, and on each other. Pope Francis in his letter says that St. Joseph reminds us that those who appear hidden or in the shadows can play an incomparable role in the history of salvation. Through working hard, not begrudgingly like Coda, but honestly, steadfastly, and quietly in the service of others. As you prepare to leave Cardinal Leger, my hope and prayer for each of you 
is that you recognize yourselves as key workers, key builders in our salvation story. Each and every one of you has been gifted with talents and is called to showcase your skills through honest and humble work in the service of our community. Each and every one of you is called to become a thinker, a speaker, a learner, a collaborator, a caring family member, citizen, and most importantly, a believer. When, like Coda, you are tempted to rush through, to cut corners, I hope that you can be reminded of this fact. You are building your own house. The house you are building, it may require you to study, to sacrifice, to go slower than you'd like, but if you can make the hard decisions which will test your patience, then the house you will build will be a solid shelter and a beautiful reminder of your steadfastness for both you and your community. Lancers, you are at an inflection point. Things are about to change. The best thing about this opportunity for change is that how things might change is largely up to you. You are needed. The skills and talents you currently possess and those skills and talents that you are about to nurture and to develop in yourselves will be critical to the kind of houses, the types of communities that you will build. I know in my heart that every single one of you will build a house and a community that will make this world a better place and you will go on to do incredible things in this world. And all of us gathered here at home, wherever you are, your teachers, your friends, your family, will take pride in knowing we may have helped you even a little bit on your way to build your own house. Congratulations, we are proud of you and God bless you. Thank you, Principal Radek. I'd like to take a few moments to outline the order of this afternoon's presentations. We'll begin with the presentation of the secondary school diplomas, which represent the successful achievement of 30 credits. Along with their diplomas, students will also receive the Blessed Olive Wood Cross, presented by the Reverend Father Liborio and Mr. Finnamore, which represents the successful attainment of the Ontario Catholic School graduate expectations. Some students will also be distinguished with the designation of Ontario Scholar. Ontario Scholars are high school graduates in the province of Ontario who attain an average of 80% or greater in their six best grade 12 courses. The award is granted by the Ontario Ministry of Education and consists of a certificate from the Minister of Education. This award is distinct from other academic acknowledgements such as the Honour Roll. Following the presentation of diplomas, we will announce just a few special awards of distinction concluding with our student valedictory address. Let's begin by presenting Lazy's graduates with their secondary school diplomas. I call upon teacher Ms. Vanessa Zulo to announce our graduates. Vince Roy Abat, Ontario Scholar. Chelsea Abel Agilor, Ontario Scholar. Neil Adamson, Ontario Scholar. Daniela Adjubotang, Andre Agitano, Mordecai Akinrenade, Nicholas Akinrenade, Kesia Al Hassan, Ontario Scholar, Nicholas Ali Badbad, Ontario Scholar, Yeshaya Allen, Ontario Scholar, Lucas Alves Oliveira. Jessica Alviani Baldessera, Ontario Scholar. Jacob Amaral. Aaron Amofo. Andrew Andal, Ontario Scholar. Luciani Andriata Maraquin. Marco Antic, Ontario Scholar. Jennifer Aremu, Ontario Scholar. Joshua Aruda. Matthew Assad, Daniela Oquan, Philip Batty, Kessia Bailey, Ontario Scholar, Sarah Barbosa, Ontario Scholar, Chara Bautista, Ontario Scholar, Aliyah Beard, Ava Bone. Tiana Beckford, Ontario Scholar. Nicholas Becchiaris, Ontario Scholar. Emma Belsito, Ontario Scholar. 
Naomi Benjack, Ontario Scholar. Tierra Bennett, Ontario Scholar. Rachel Besla, Ontario Scholar. Caleb Best. Luke Bieronwu. Tashawn Bleary, Ontario Scholar. Christopher Bombase, Ontario Scholar. Andy Bone. Luke Bach. Matteo Botello, Ontario Scholar. Olivia Bouchard, Ontario Scholar. Brandon Boyd, Ontario Scholar. Ashley Bredin. Kaylee Bredin, Ontario Scholar. Tristan Bredin, Ontario Scot Scholar. Matthew Bruffel Nimaco. Heather Brown, Ontario Scholar. Shannon Brown, Ontario Scholar. Giovanni Berger. Damien Buttbrimo. Marcus Buttbrimo. Claudia Kane. Christina Campbell, Ontario Scholar. Jasmine Campbell, Ontario Scholar. Jade Mark Campilla. Danica Louise Canton. Sophia Carrara, Ontario Scholar. Caitlin Carrero. Patel Charlie. Kevin Chow, Ontario Scholar. Richard Clark. Ontario Scholar. Dallas Connolly, Ontario Scholar. Nasai Cook Durrell. Tatiana Correa Fonseca. Kai Cosentino, Ontario Scholar. Howard Crawford. Catherine Kubakub, Ontario Scholar. Tara Kunanen, Ontario Scholar. Megan Kadajar, Ontario Scholar. Damon Deleuze, Ontario Scholar. Alexia da Costa. Sonia da Silva Vieira, Ontario Scholar. Tiara Davis, Ontario Scholar. Yoshi Danielle Anna Panagaran Davakal. David de Souza. Matteo de Guzman, Ontario Scholar. Roland Del Rosario. Amber Rose DeMars, Ontario Scholar. Manuel Diaz, Ontario Scholar. Maria Cristina Diaz, Ontario Scholar. Rhea D. Jemko, Ontario Scholar. Michaela Dennis. Riley D. Tommaso, Ontario Scholar. Bali Lamini. Travis Donnelly. Samuel Dorvillier, Ontario Scholar. Gabriella Duma, Ontario Scholar. Elijah Elby. Ruth Estrella. Jade Fagner, Ontario Scholar. Minha Fahim, Ontario Scholar. Sarah Faisal, Ontario Scholar. Madison Faria, Ontario Scholar. Javon Fashanu, Ontario Scholar. Roberto Figuera. Adriana Filari, Ontario Scholar. Ao Valoyan. Eric Boraker. Jared Francil, Ontario Scholar. Brendan Francis Yee, Ontario Scholar. Kenneth Francis, Ontario Scholar. Amara Franco. Alyssa Furtado, Ontario Scholar. Tamara Garcia, Ontario Scholar. Nicole Georgie. Lydia Geep, Ontario Scholar. 
Adita Gigan Babu, Ontario Scholar. Baldeep Gill, Ontario Scholar. Bipanjit Gill, Ontario Scholar. Ross Giuliano, Ontario Scholar. Russell Giuliano. Joseph Gonzalez, Ontario Scholar. Renee Gonzalez, Ontario Scholar. Shanai Grant Stewart. Alicia Grant. Deshawn Gray Sims. Atasia Green, Ontario Scholar. Gabrielle Growalski, Ontario Scholar. Kelly Guya, Ontario Scholar. Allison Gutierrez, Ontario Scholar. Nick Hansen. Tyreek Harris. Nashadane Harvey Brathwaite. Magdalena Herrera Keeping. Azura Hibbert, Ontario Scholar. Nolan Hickey. Ashley Higita. Olivia Howlett. Peter Hupp, Ontario Scholar. Tamika Hudson, Ontario Scholar. Savannah Holm. Connor Izerski. Christina Ivins. Nicole Iwan, Ontario Scholar. Shanaz Javdeen, Ontario Scholar. Mikey Jimenez, Ontario Scholar. Morgan Johnson, Ontario Scholar. Regina Johnson, Ontario Scholar. Jaheem Jones. Alan Cabea. Maria Kazatanseva. Ethan Kennedy. Jacob King, Ontario Scholar. Tyson Klimsiak. Stephanie Labac, Ontario Scholar. Jamila Lambert Jackson, Ontario Scholar. Michael Landry Wells. Hannah Lane, Ontario Scholar. James Lassick. Angelique Lozon, Ontario Scholar. Lafine Lagore, Ontario Scholar. Vanessa Levesque. Jade Lewis. Niall Lewis, Ontario Scholar. Rachel Lewis, Ontario Scholar. Christian Luddington, Ontario Scholar. Zachary Machado, Ontario Scholar. Heather Magalanis, Ontario Scholar. Ashley Menensala, Ontario Scholar. Jack Mantle, Ontario Scholar. Emily Manzanares, Ontario Scholar. Brian Marquez. Hannah Martin, Ontario Scholar. Tatiana Martins, Ontario Scholar. Rhea Matthews, Ontario Scholar. Caleb McCoy. Grace McDonald, Ontario Scholar. Trevon Mellis, Ontario Scholar. Matteo Mello. Tatiana Merchant. Jaden Monfries. Gabriel Montemayor, Ontario Scholar. Julia Morim, Ontario Scholar. Savannah Morin, Ontario Scholar. Dante Muir. Angel Muse. Kezia McCurgy, Ontario Scholar. Dave Malumba. DJ Monroe. Brianna Meringer, Ontario Scholar. Maxwell Murphy. Billy Myers. 
Aiden Nault, Ontario Scholar. Lord's Love, Gange, Ontario Scholar. Hawisha Najislani, Ontario Scholar. Ade Okunge, Ontario Scholar. King David Elijahwan, Ontario Scholar. Eugene Amomia. Trevor Amomia. Thomas Orenchuk. Alexa Osborne. Silas Osborne. Amanda Pacheco. Kyle Pacheco, Ontario Scholar. Deshan Pinozo. Amber Paquette. Naveed Paul, Ontario Scholar. Kayla Petal, Ontario Scholar. Matthew Perdue, Ontario Scholar. Arian Persaud, Ontario Scholar. Maya Peters, Ontario Scholar. Elijah Peterson, Ontario Scholar. Ava Petrilli, Ontario Scholar. Anne Femme, Ontario Scholar. Melissa Pinto, Ontario Scholar. Aldana Pires. Alex Pitter. Janine Platon, Ontario Scholar. Alexandra Oblette Tank. Justine Pronton, Ontario Scholar. Laura Pulis, Ontario Scholar. Sabrina Pulis, Ontario Scholar. Joshua Ragbeer. Austin Razzo. Shane Joshua Roberts, Ontario Scholar. Selena Rodriguez, Ontario Scholar. Ivan Rodriguez. Diego Roman. Kayla Rowe. Arena Russell Bell, Ontario Scholar. Aliyah Ribka. Nadine Saad. Jaden Sadler. Serena Sahadeo. Jazraj Sahoda, Ontario Scholar. Stephanie Salazar, Ontario Scholar. Charles Daniel Salinas, Ontario Scholar. Ken Jamal Sampson, Ontario Scholar. Anna Sarak. Lloyd Sicharin, Ontario Scholar. Anaka Seeger. Angeline Sagato, Ontario Scholar. Justice Schillingford Borges. Travis Simon. Aaron Singh, Corel Smith Brathwaite, Nathaniel Smith, Ontario Scholar, Stephanie Sohail, Ontario Scholar, Emma Dorego Souza, Rebecca St. Germain, Ontario Scholar, Caleb St. John, Elijah St. Louis, Andrew Story, Ryan Stoyanov, Ontario Scholar, Michaela Stiles, Ontario Scholar, Connor Swan, Larissa Sweetland, Conrad Shishbansky, Ontario Scholar, Denise Takasan, Ontario Scholar. Anita Tendara, Thomas Taveras, Ryan Texan, Ontario Scholar, Veronica Telejero, Ontario Scholar, Ariel Thomas, Shamar Thomas, Natasha Topic, Ontario Scholar. Karina Tortorelli, Ontario Scholar.
Claire Tenner, Ontario Scholar. Nisher Valsang. Lillian Valencia. Kevin Venegas. Mariana Vasquez Colello, Ontario Scholar. Jillian Ashley Velasco. Megan Vieira. Selena Vieira, Ontario Scholar. Elijah D'Angelo Villaluna. Fabiana Viquez Torres. Emma Vitorino, Ontario Scholar. Carolina Bonfrido, Ontario Scholar. Zafira Waite. Natalia Waluska, Ontario Scholar. Alicia Walker. Kashaya Walker Lewin. Riley Wasiliniuk. Georgia Welfare. Amaya Whitaker. Oscar Wyatrowski. Anisha Williams. Jalen Williams. Andrea Winkler. Nathan Wong. Ella Wright. Jenea Iboa, Ontario Scholar. Angelique Yetming, Ontario Scholar. Ivana Zuvik, Ontario Scholar. That concludes our reading of this year's presentation of secondary school diplomas to our Cardinal Leger class of 2021. Before we move on to the next portion of our evening, let's take a few minutes to enjoy a musical selection put together by our graduating instrumental music class. They'll be playing Pomp and Circumstance. <laughs>
performance by the grade 12 graduating music, music class. This was their final performance as Cardinal Leger Lancers. Their music teacher, Ms. Tiggybom, thanks them for their dedication to the music program throughout their four years here at Leger. We now invite Cardinal Leger Chaplaincy Leader, Mr. Brian Finnemore, to the podium. Greetings to the Cardinal Leger graduation class of 2021. I'm so happy to be with you on this glorious day. Now, the summer is finally here. In the province of Ontario, we're opening up. We're gonna be outside doing things in the sun, finally. And you know, whenever you do things in the sun, you can work up quite a thirst. You might be playing basketball or soccer or road hockey, baseball. You might be helping out around the house doing some gardening. You might be riding your bike. Whatever you're doing outside, the sun, the hot temperature, wow, it increases your thirst. Now, 7-Eleven, we all know this, it has the ultimate weapon against thirst. It has, you might say, public enemy number one to thirst. It has the Slurpee. Now, the Slurpee isn't good for us. We know that. But it does have things like ice inside, it has lots of sugar. It has who knows what else. In fact, I've often looked at the word Slurpee and I've asked myself, Brian, Fiddy, do you really want to put anything with the word P in your mouth? But I'm digressing. As human beings, we were created by God with other thirsts, not just physical thirst. All of us, we have a thirst for love. We have a thirst for meaning. We have a thirst for justice. We have a thirst for love. All of these things we thirst for and we crave. And we spend our lives trying to satisfy, to answer these questions and to satisfy the thirst. But our world is very sneaky, we know that. And our world gives us things that are the equivalent of the Slurpee. They appear to satisfy us, but they don't. For example, the world gives us things like alcohol and drugs. The world will give us things like materialism. It'll give us things like the search for the acquisition of money. But you know, those things won't satisfy our thirst for love, for meaning, for understanding. There's only one thing, there's only one person that will satisfy those thirsts, and that is Jesus, our faith. Graduates, as you move on into life, please don't forget the lessons that you learned at Leger. You are well prepared for the challenges of life. You can take whatever life will throw at you, try to hit you with, but when it comes to the meaning of life, don't drink the Slurpee. Don't drink the Kool-Aid that the world is offering. Turn to Jesus. Remember, when Jesus was hanging on the cross dying, one of his last words were, I thirst. Jesus, the human. Jesus is both God and human. Jesus thirsts for love. For your love, for my love, for our love, for everyone's love. That is the meaning of life. Now my prayer for you graduates is that you will always stay thirsty. Don't let the world seduce you with false bromides, with false uh, thirst quenchers. Don't drink the Slurpee. God bless you, Lancer graduates. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Finnemore, for those inspirational words. We now move on to the next portion of our ceremony. Honoring our distinguished graduates, every year special awards and bursaries are made available to members of the graduating class. The Cardinal Leger Awards Committee has taken great care and time to review each of this year's nominees. After careful deliberation and debate, we are pleased to announce this year's award recipients. Once again, we want to thank all the nominees. Our first award is the Catholic Leadership Award. The Catholic Leadership Award is presented each year by the local trustee to a graduating student 
who exemplifies Catholic faith and the Catholic school philosophy. Congratulations, Kenneth Francis. This scholarship was established in recognition of the contribution of former Director of Education, Tom Riley. Upon his retirement in 1995, the Thomas J. Riley Scholarship is presented annually in every secondary school to a graduating student who has demonstrated excellence in the study of modern language and intends to pursue post-secondary education. Congratulations, Kesaya Al Hassan! The St. Oscar Romero Award is presented to a graduating student who exemplifies the teachings of Christ in the pursuit of social justice and peace. Congratulations, Catherine Kubica! The Edward King Memorial Award was established by the Secondary School Principals Association to honor the contribution and leadership of Edward King, principal of Father Gates Secondary School who died in April of 1992. The Edward King Memorial Award is given to a student in the graduating class of all secondary schools who demonstrate academic excellence and leadership in the school program. Congratulations, Andrew and Dal. Congratulations to Kenneth, Catherine, Andrew and Kezia. Stay tuned to our social media channels to learn who the recipients of our other graduation awards will be. At this time, we invite Chara Batista and Christina Campbell, your 2021 valedictorians, to present their valedictory address. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of this year's class of 2021, we would like to welcome staff, families, and guests, and we would like to thank you all for being here today. Virtually. Looking back to our first year of high school, I know that we would have never imagined that our graduating class would be surviving a global pandemic. Back then, our greatest fears were trying to fit into a new school community, making new friends, and comprehending the ins and outs of high school survival. We would worry about getting lost in the halls and would try our best to avoid being late for class. But most importantly, we can't forget the intimidation we faced when making sure we had the best outfits planned for Civvies Day. But now, we wake up two minutes before our virtual classes because we're too busy scrolling on TikTok or we're trying to catch a few more minutes of sleep. As a student, during the beginning of the pandemic, we thought it was going to be a nice two extra weeks of March break. I remember my teacher at the time told us the day before we weren't allowed to come back to school ever again. I'm sure this will all be over in a few weeks. Little did we all know, it lasted a lot longer than that. The weeks got longer and the term quarantine became more relevant. Eventually, we noticed that we weren't going back to school anymore and our high school experience would never be the same. This was the biggest turning point for our graduating class. At this moment, we had two choices, to either give up or continue to fight it to make it to this current day. Our class has been presented with one of the most challenging yet unique experiences in Canadian history. We've learned the importance of prioritizing our mental health and understanding the virtue of self-discipline. We've pushed through assignments and took responsibility for our learning. And it's clear to see that our graduating class has learned how to adapt, adjust, and overcome the many obstacles thrown our way. Our resilience, drive, and strength is a distinguishing aspect of our class that we are so proud of. It is to no surprise that we are able to celebrate this milestone today as we have always persevered as students throughout our high school years. Over the course of our four years at Leje, we have flourished academically. Each year, our graduating class's average has increased exponentially and a whopping number of students consecutively achieved honor roll status. Thanks to our desire to become lifelong learners and the continuous support received from our teachers, we have been able to grow as intelligent young individuals. Our class thrived not only through academics, but also through our Lancer spirit. With the diverse student demographic, each person at Cardinal Leger comes from a different background and undergoes a different journey. 
Our unique stories and experiences, both inside and outside of the classroom, shape the strong individuals that we have become today. We are a part of a generation of students that actively seize opportunities and achieve greatness. In our first year of high school, our junior band sees the opportunity to perform at the Rose Theater. And as the years went by, the progression of our band became evident as they achieved two invitations to nationals and two Silver Plus achievements. A big thank you to Ms. Tegibon for inspiring students to appreciate the art of music and allowing us to share it within the school. Our lazy excellence continued to be demonstrated as our dance team achieved first place at Strive High School Dance Competition. We started from the bottom as our class was the blueprint for introducing dance to our school community. Thank you, Mrs. Zulo, for sharing your passion with students and inspiring our class to get involved through the art of dance during our years at Cardinal Leger. Our athletic sports teams also unleashed another competitive side of our Leger community, representing our school at OFSA and ROPSA with sports such as ultimate frisbee, soccer, and cross country. We also demonstrated love, compassion, and empathy as our chaplaincy team supported Dr. Simone at his warehouse, shipping non-perishable items to emergent countries. Whether it was attending Mass at St. Mary's Church or building relationships in our Brampton community through the Knight's Table Soup Kitchen, our graduating class has been able to share the light of Christ wherever we go. From academics to the arts to athletics, our graduating class has never been short of Lancer spirit. I encourage all of you to continue this passion, drive, and legacy as we move forward to our next chapter. Whether you've decided to continue education in STEM, health sciences, liberal arts, or the trades, whether you've decided to find a pathway in entrepreneurship, the workplace, the military, or even the government, I ask you to continue this passion and Lancer spirit into your future endeavors. Use your drive and intuition to create a more equitable society for all of us Canadians. As a graduating class, we have the power, opportunity, and privilege to enter a society as newfound adults. We have the chance to make a difference in our communities, our families, our jobs, and our society. Over the past two years, we weren't only experiencing a global pandemic. Many events led to conversations where we even question our own Canadian society. Whether that's addressing anti-Black and anti-Asian racism, Islamophobia, cultural disparities, and disrespect to our Canadian Indigenous population. We have all had time to reflect on the various insecurities revealed to our society. You know, taking a look at our Leche family, we have diversity and different cultural experiences. For us, it's normal to be surrounded by friends of various nationalities, backgrounds, and interests. Whether that's the arts, sports, or academics, we've learned how to coexist with one another, regardless of our differences. But it's also very important to understand that with our diverse experiences, not all of us will be treated the same once we leave Leger. Some of us will experience hate, discrimination, and bigotry because of our race, our identities, our religious affiliations, and our willingness to just be ourselves. The question is, what are we going to do about that? As we move into a new era of adulthood, let's live our lives to its fullest potential and contribute to bettering our world. From small acts such as smiling past one another or larger impacts such as standing up to injustices, let's make sure we are able to look back and be proud of who we are and where we've progressed as Lancers. Take every day as an opportunity to be lifelong learners, to acknowledge problems and actively seek solutions. Let's have a graduating class filled with leaders who can use their talents, gifts, and diverse backgrounds to positively impact our ever-changing society. I know that this class can do anything that we set our minds to, and that we can use our ideas and inner light to brighten the darkness, injustices, inequality, and hatred in this world. Use your post-secondary pathways, your fields, your future endeavors, to make a positive impact in our ever-changing world. We encourage you to use the light in your hearts, continue to grow in truth and love, and actively fight for a brighter future. As street poet and philosopher Drake once said, you only live once, so let's make sure we do it right.
Attending Cardinal Leger has truly been a life-changing experience, and we are forever grateful for having the privilege of representing the 2021 graduating class. As our high school journey comes to an end, we ask the Heavenly Father to bless us with hope so that we are able to move into the future with eager and open hearts. And a big thanks to Mr. Finnemore for inspiring us to grow in faith throughout our four years here at Leger. Today, we aren't just here to celebrate the past four years, but also to celebrate and look forward to the future and all the places life will take us after graduation. Congratulations, class of 2021. You know, somebody asked us what we would do if we didn't win valedictorian, and... I guess we'll never know. Thank you, Chara and Christina. Parents and graduates, we'd like to draw your attention to the Chaplaincy Connect information that is available on our school website and will be featured at the conclusion of our virtual graduation ceremony. The contact information provided will help you connect and to locate the Catholic community at the post-secondary school you will be attending next year. I would now like to invite the Reverend Father Laborio and the Reverend Father Patrick to close our commencement ceremony with a prayer of benediction. Let us conclude with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Gracious Lord, you give us many gifts. The gift of knowledge, the gift of learning about you, about the world, and about ourselves. We thank you for this day. We thank you for being part of our life. And we thank you for the gift of our teachers. We thank you for the gift of those who lead us, who volunteer in one way or the other, for the gift of each and every one of us today. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. is risen. And indeed, God is good. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. God bless you. We would like to thank our clergy, teachers, administrators, support staff, students, invited guests, and members of our community who contributed generously and worked tirelessly to make this evening possible. On behalf of the teachers and the staff of Cardinal Leger, Mr. Reddick, our school principal, and our distinguished representatives from the board and from our larger Cardinal Leger community, we would once again like to formally congratulate all our students for their hard work and their families for their continued support and encouragement. Graduates, we celebrate along with your families and your achievements. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, we give you the Cardinal Leger Secondary School Class of 2021. Thank you for joining us in this celebration of our students' success.